Joker, you've never been anything but an empty suit. And if you ever come to Gotham again, I'll be all over you like a cheap suit. Not my best Batman, but hi, welcome to Ingvid. I'm James and this is Mr. E. Today's lesson is on the word suit. I'm wearing the bat suit and I'm sure you've heard of Batman. And if you haven't, uh, when you're done this, go watch the Batman movie and then come back and this will be funny, all right? Anyway, welcome to Ingvid, James, Mr. E, and Mr. E, um, oh, censored. This means you're not allowed to look or you can't see it. There's something wrong. So why don't we talk about why I'm wearing a bat suit, why E is wearing a suit, and why he's censored over here. Let's go to the board. <laughs> okay, anyway, so suit is what we're working with today. Suit is a word that could be either a verb or a noun in English. And we usually use it with a lot of expressions. So today we're going to work on the expressions that we use it for. Let's start with the first one. I've divided the board into business and personal, or should I say personal and business, because I'm awake. Um, and we're gonna find out how suit is used in the business world and in your personal life. So you can use this word outside, you know, with your friends, joking around, having fun, or actually when you go to work. Ready? Let's go to the board. Birthday suit. You're naked, baby. No clothes whatsoever. And if you look very carefully, E is censored because he's in his birthday suit. He has no clothing. He looks a little too happy, right? If you take a look, a little too happy for my liking. Now, what about him wearing a suit here? We've got birthday suit to suit up. There was a program in North America called How I Met Your Mother. And there was a guy called Barney. Barney's hilarious. And whenever he wants to go meet women, he's got a friend, I forget his name. He always goes, let's suit up. And they go on and they put suits. That's a suit and a tie. And they dress up. And as you can see here, Mr. E is suited up. He has put on his shirt and his tie. He wants to look good. It means to look good and attractive. Another meaning for suit up is this. In the military, they might say, suit up, boys. It means get your weapons, get ready for battle or for action. Sometimes they say in sports, suit up, get your uniform on, get ready for action. So you could say it's for putting on a suit or put on clothes for action because you're ready to do something, military, sports, any kind of activity. First two, what's the other one? Well, this isn't a monkey suit, but it kind of feels like one right now. A monkey suit is the informal word for tuxedo. Tuxedo, I'm sure you've seen it when people go and get married, they wear a fancy special suit because on this suit they have a bow tie. It's a tie that looks like this. Usually used for weddings and formal occasions, big parties. Yeah? So they call it a monkey suit because, I'm going to explain, even though it's formal clothing, it's like a uniform because all the men wear the same thing. They will usually wear a white shirt with a black jacket, a cummerbund, which is this thing they put around their waist here okay, and black pants and black shoes. And all the men wear it, so that's why they call it a monkey suit, because they're all doing the same thing. But we also sometimes call it uniforms monkey suits. If someone uh, works as a cleaner, they might say this monkey suit, because it's not, I'm not, I don't feel human, I feel like one of a group, just a uniform body of people, okay? Uniform meaning the same. Bathing suit. If you wear a bathing suit, it's not when you take a bath, I know. You think shower, you think bath. A bathing suit is something different. When you go swimming, that's when you wear your bathing suit. So when you go to the ocean and you're out there, you're not in your birthday suit. No, you can't go naked. But you can put on a little thing. It looks like little underwear. And some girls, their bathing suit is a bikini. That's a two-piece bathing suit. Or it can be a one-piece bathing suit. All right? So we've got personal. Birthday suit, naked, suit up, to get dressed and put on a suit or put on clothing ready for action. Monkey suit, a tuxedo. I know, funny, but it's a formal, an informal word of saying tuxedo. We say it in a negative way because you don't want to wear it, usually. Or it can be a uniform. And finally, bathing suit. It's what you wear when you go swimming. Yeah? All right, so what about business? We just talked about this suiting thing. So we're going to switch ourselves over here and go to the business. The thing about suit is this. When we talk about it in business, it's usually quite negative. You'll notice over here it's kind of fun, right? 
But if you talk about, for instance, somebody wearing, someone is an empty suit, it means a person who is in management who is useless, basically. Uh, they're not real or fake or they have no effectiveness. No effectiveness means they can't do their job well or when they do something, it doesn't work at all. They're not effective, right? They're an empty suit. Imagine someone wearing a suit and a tie, but there's no hands, feet, and a face and legs. That's what they're referring to. This person is useless, almost invisible. An empty suit. A person who has done nothing to earn their position or they're not effective. Okay? What about suits? You go, well, James, I have two suits. Is this good for business? <laughs> it has nothing to do with business. When someone goes, hey man, there are the suits. They're referring to high level management or sometimes the government. We don't work for you suits, man. We don't work for you. And it's negative because you're powerful and you're the corporation, you're faceless. It's like Microsoft is good and you like Microsoft products, but the guys who work in the office and sell the Microsoft products, they're the suits. They're not the creative team who bring it to life, right? Lawsuit. I'm probably gonna get a lawsuit for this video because I just made Batman look really stupid, okay? A lawsuit is when you go to court because you feel that somebody has done something and they have taken from you or you have lost something. Uh, we call it civil because it's when two people say, maybe you hit my car and I'll say, I'm gonna sue you, there'll be a lawsuit. I'm losing wages from my job, means making no money and time, so you should pay me. Or you make a product that's not very effective, like this doesn't work. I'm gonna sue you, there'll be a lawsuit. And what that means is, you owe me money because this doesn't work and I want that money back, okay? Now, from all the talking I've done, you're gonna see suit, 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 wearing bat suit, he's wearing a suit, that person has no clothing suit. James, what does suit mean? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> okay, what suit means is this. A suit is something that is right for you or makes you look good. This bat suit makes me look good because I have a chest. I don't normally look this good, so it suits me, okay? So when you say to somebody, that suits you, it makes you look good, right? Or it's right for you. I think that job, is, that job suits you, it's right for you. I'm going to introduce this one word, another word that's similar, a synonym to it, but it's not exactly the same, because in North America, you'll hear people say suit and fit, and they will see in the same, but they're not, so you have to be careful. The word that I want to show you is this, fit. Fit is similar to suit. There's a big difference though. Fit means the right size or shape. Does this bat suit fit me? Yes, it's a good fit. It's the right size or shape for me. If it were too big, you would say it doesn't fit you. You wouldn't say it doesn't suit you because maybe I do look like a superhero and it suits me, but it's too big and it doesn't fit me meaning the size or shape is either too big or too small. Okay, so fit and suit. Just a little aside or a little note for you to keep in your mind. When you hear North Americans saying it, you're saying, what do they mean? Well, if they say suit, it's the right thing for you or it makes you look good. If it says fit, like this cap fits this pen, it means it's the right size or shape. <sighs> I hate this. English is a language made of many languages. so. Every rule I say, there's an exception. And I know there's some of you guys right there going, okay, I got him, I got him, I know he's wrong. There's this one in English where they say, ah, la, la, la. I know, you can see you just ah, salivating. That means having water drip from their mouth like a dog, ready to get James. You're always ready to get me, but I got you, <laughs> got you, okay? There is one big exception in North America. Usually in business, people say something and it's an expression that goes like this. She is the right fit for our company. He wasn't the right fit for our company. In this case, fit doesn't mean size or shape. It means they were not right for the company, right? Not the right person for the company. That's what it means. And it's a big exception because in business, they will say this regularly. They won't say he doesn't suit the company. They'll say this one first. Now, if you can remember that one, you're good because 80% of the time, the other ones work perfectly. Anyway, we got some more work to do because I want to talk about common expressions in English. And I'm going to be right back in a flash. Okay, so, was there a guy just here? Yours, you know? But just maybe it's just me, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, 
we did some vocabulary and we talked about the difference between fit and suit, as you can see. And we talked about what suit means and some business ways of using it and some personal ways. But what's, let's look at some expressions. I mean, expressions are how we usually speak. We don't just say the word suit. So why don't we try and be like native speakers, okay? Let's go to the board and take a look. So the first one I want to start off with, our popular expressions, is strong suit. Think about strong, which is like strong like Batman. Batman. Anyway, I don't. Strong, muy fuerte. Very strong. So when we say something's your strong suit, it usually refers to what a person is very good at or an institution. When I mean an institution, you might say a bank is very good at giving money to people. That's its strong suit. As a person might be a very good writer. That's their strong suit. It means the thing that they're best at or they're really, really good at. Okay? That's your strong suit. So what's your strong suit? Think about it. Your good looks, your charming voice, or the fact you can sleep all day long. All right. Next one. All over somebody like a cheap suit. SB means somebody. Just, it's a short way of writing it. Make it faster. So if you see that again, you'll know what it means. When you're all over somebody like a cheap suit, let's think about a cheap suit. Now this suit is not cheap. It fits me well. It's not expensive either. But a cheap suit is usually something that's not well made. It's badly made. So sometimes it's tight, you know, tight, 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 tight. Very tight. Uh, so close to the body, right? So a cheap suit are bad fitting or ill fitting, and they're too tight in all the wrong places. So they're tight on the chest, or you know, they're really, really loose, the opposite of tight. So when we say someone's all over you like a cheap suit, we mean they're too close. They're touching you too much. They're too close to you, and you want them to get away from you. You're like, get off of me. You're like, you're like me on. You're like, you're all over me like a cheap suit. I don't like the way it fits or the way it feels, right? So we can talk about that. Somebody at a bar trying to pick you up, like, hey, baby, why don't you come back to my place? They put their arm on you and start touching your arm. You're like, man, get off of me. You're like a cheap suit, not fitting right. Ugh. Okay. How about suit yourself? Suit yourself. Yourself is a reflexive pronoun. Suit is a, what he's wearing. I'm confused. Let me enlighten you. Enlighten means to give you knowledge. <laughs> okay. Suit yourself means, first, suit. A person wears a suit, correct? So you put it on yourself. Suit yourself means put the suit on yourself. Think about it. Basically, it means do what you want. I don't care. We say it sarcastically because we're saying you've made a decision we don't think is correct. We're not going to stop you. It's not my business. I don't care anymore. So do what you like. But instead of saying, do what you like, I don't care, we're like, suit yourself. Remember? You put a suit on, like, suit yourself, do what you want. I don't care. Me not care, no more. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> Sorry. Suits me. Now, you're going to go, James, they're the same, right? Suit yourself? No, 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 no. In this case, you're telling somebody, do what you like, I don't care. When somebody says, suits me, it's, yeah, that's the right fit. That's right or correct for me. Suits me just fine. I like it. You know, this house, beautiful. Look at the trees, the water, the lake, the monster in the lake. Suits me just fine. I like it. It's good for me. Not the same. Exact opposite. This one, they, they don't care. And this one, you do like. It's good for you. And the last one, this is sort of similar. But when we talk about this, we want to talk about companies or other things or other places, right? That suits them. That works for them. So if you go, oh, them having children right now, that suits them just fine. That's good for them. You can use it for companies, right? He suits that company, the right image or the right person for the company or event. This suits the house well, right? Or it suits the party. It's the right thing. So we're not talking about yourself. You're talking about a thing, things, okay? Something external. Now, I like to be very thorough. It means I like doing a good job. And I think we've done a good job here. So just to make sure, I'm going to give you three little questions, a little quiz, you might say, uh, because you know at, the, at uh, Ingvid, we have more, uh, you know, a lot of quizzes for you, but we'll give you a short quiz right now to take a look at, and let's see how well you learned your lesson. Are you ready? All right. When Mr. E saw Marion at the party, he was all over her like what? A birthday suit? Um, would you say all over her like suit yourself? Hmm. 
I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about that. Five, four, three. Ah, I'll just tell you. He was all over her like a cheap suit. So you can imagine Mr. E putting his arm around a girl, if only he had arms, and he's holding her and going, I love you, baby. She's like, no, no, E, let me go, let me go. He was all over her like a cheap suit. Number two, okay? What's number two? Josh was so drunk he came to the party in only his bat suit? No. His bathing suit? That would be funny, but if he was really drunk, I think he would come in his five, four, three. Ah, I don't want to get to one. His birthday suit. Wah, wah, wah. Naked. No clothes. Drunk. And number three. After the argument, Mr. E told James he would prefer to be alone. I want to be alone. And James said, I'm going to give you a hint. It's on this board. That's your strong suit, being alone? I don't know. You're all over it like a cheap suit. I don't think so. Suit yourself? Yeah, you're smart. See, I, I know you're smart. I knew you, would, I, I knew you knew the answer. I just wanted to play with you a bit. Yeah, he told him, suit yourself. You want to be alone? Suit yourself. I don't care. I'm out of here. Speaking of which, I am actually out of here. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Okay, suit. You can use it now for business, personal. You know the difference between fit and suit. You know popular expressions and you pass the mini test. But I know you. I know you well. You're going to go to the website. What website could this be? www. What? Ing as English. Vid as an indiv <clears throat> video. Whoa, 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 dot com where I have other videos and so do other teachers and we'd love to have you visit us but more importantly do the quiz see how well you did and as always I want to say you know what thank you for being a good Ingvid watcher right we'll see you again soon ciao I swear to god that guy was wearing a bat suit he's a freak man freak well at least he suited himself up Yeah, like this? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I might have been able to do it for a couple of <laughs> I sound like the Batman now. Oh, well, I'm okay, but this is what my voice sounds like with this thing because it constricts the trachea. This would have been an interesting lesson. But to be honest, I don't know what I sound like because the ears cover it up. <laughs>